Morning guys, so I am about to get started with my day. I gotta put my contacts in, I gotta put some makeup on this mug. Um, I've got a job interview, actually. It's, um, uh, it's not Skype, it's on like Google Meetings or Google Hangouts or something like that, I don't know. Um, but it's for, it's a call center job, which I hate. Um, I have severe phone anxiety now from years and years and years of working in call centers, but it's work at home. So, you know, you take the good with the bad and they do have a chat option. I was hoping to get on board with that, but I guess as, um, a new incoming person, you have to be on the phones. So I'm hoping eventually I will be good enough that I can do some of the chat feature and spend a little less time on the phones, but a job is a job. And, um, I just, we need, we're going to buy that house in the next couple of years and we need to get all of our debt paid off. So that's the plan is I'm going to work part time just to pay off credit cards and we've got a whole like plan of attack in place where, you know, as we pay off one, that payment's being applied to the next one and we can just pay it all down. So hopefully, hopefully, fingers crossed, but yeah, I'm going to put some contacts in my eyeballs and put some more paint on my face and we're going to go do this, this interview thing. Wish me luck. Okay, so I'm in the school room. This room actually was my office when we first moved in here. Um, I, when we first moved in, I was the parent that worked, and Eddie was the stay-at-home parent. And um, we switched off when we started homeschooling. So, um, yeah, I am in my school room, and I am trying to get my computer ready. It decided that moving it from one room to the other it was going to die, and that was the moment that it Windows needed to do its update. So it's been updating for about 45 minutes. I am 10 minutes from away from needing to be in this conference call, video chat, whatever this thing is, interview that I'm doing. So um, I'm a little bit frazzled. Um, the, it needs um, a USB mic headphone, which Eddie has, and he doesn't use anymore. He had a gaming headphone. Um, or he has a gaming headphone, and he doesn't use it anymore because we have a nice microphone, and he just uses that. So, you know, when I was filling out the application for this, I'm like, do you, is that a USB, is it Skype compatible, and all the questions that it asked, and he's like, yeah, and it's like, can I have it to work, and he's like, yeah, absolutely, didn't bother to go and find it or anything, so now I'm sitting here about to do this interview, and I can't find it anywhere, so I'm hoping they don't need it on the actual interview, um, I don't, I hate being ill-prepared, and now I'm short on time and I'm ill-prepared, and I'm already anxious, so anxiety is about to get the better of me, just, just, I hope, I hope I can keep my shit together and get this done, wish me luck. Oh, my eyes are watering. That was utterly terrifying. Um, but the guy was super sweet. He was very nice. He put me very much at ease, so that was nice. Um, some questions, you know, can I even tell you how long it's been since I interviewed for a job? I've been homeschooling for three years, and the last job I had before that, I was in there for like three and a half years. So it's been a lot of years since I've had to do an interview. Um, and some questions that kind of threw me for a bit of a loop. Um, but I think I, I muddled through it okay, and they are going to let me know within the next seven business days um, whether or not I have gotten the job or if they're passing on me. So, um, But he was a really sweet guy, so that was, that was comforting that um, in a, a time of anxiousness for me that he was kind and not just stoic and stone-faced. Like, he... he you know, gave back when I spoke, and that's nice. So, all right, I am, since I have makeup on my face, I am making my husband take me out to dinner, so we are going to go do the dinner thing. Um, I think I'm going to wrap it for here because I have nothing else going on later. <laughs> um, when anything happens, I will, I will come back and I will talk to you, but I think we're just going to just take it easy tonight. I'm sorry I've been MIA for so long, you guys. T testing is difficult when you have a dyslexic ADD child. Um, I do the untimed California achievement test on them, um, which is great because when it's timed, Katie gets very flustered in the math portions, and because she's dyslexic, she'll see 64 and say 46, so it really, she needs the extra time to stop and process what it is she's doing. And she has ADD. I don't medicate her for it because we're home and I don't need to. It's very manageable at home, but it also means I can get about an hour of good work out of her before she's bouncing off the wall. So we have to take a lot of breaks. Um, and it just, it turned into 
sleepover on Friday, and then dinner at Grammy's house on Sunday, and then we had a sleepover last night, and it was, you know, it's summertime, and we still want to go and do fun things, and we're bowling every day, and we're going to the free summer movies and all that stuff, so then you're testing in between all of that, and I don't want to be like, we're going to stop and do this all day long, because I'm not going to get her best work out of her if I do that, so I have to work around her schedule until she's old enough to learn how to manage all of that herself. So, I'm sorry that it's been a while since I've been on here. I know I've been a drag. Um, the last test I put up was that pregnancy test. The spotting stopped. I still haven't had a positive pregnancy test. I don't think I'm going to. I think I'm gearing up to ovulate because my ovulation tests are starting to get darker. So, I think in the next day or two, we're going to have, uh, you know, live maybe ovulation test and I'll talk about what we're going to do this cycle once we're in that window that we need to be so I'll talk to you guys more about that later but thank you for being patient with me thank you for those of you who checked in on me I'm sorry I didn't mean to go so MIA on you but I mean I love you guys but my kids are my priority and I had to get had to get this done because I have to get my evaluation in by the end of the month so all right I will talk to you guys tomorrow thanks for watching bye